you get to escape for a week and then you go into withdrawal for two or three weeks when you get back. It's like a vacation going here, even if you don't sleep or everything. You got guys coming from everywhere because of the caliber of this event. Being as dumb as you can in a car and doing something you should never do in it and then somehow making it work and making it through the week. For the fucking adventure, that's what the Sig Week experience is. Can't have anything nice in the trailer park, Clark. This is day one of sick week, so we're getting ready to get everything started here. Everybody's in the pits, everybody's scrambling to get the car ready because as soon as the driver's meeting happens, everybody's gonna go out there, get their first hits in, hopefully get one hit, get on the road. Day one, getting mullet ready, tuned up to go a uh, high six and uh, kick off the week right. During the week, you want to make sure that you contact Orlando Speed World if you need to get back in here to access. Now, just slip right, keep on going. Just groups A. So you can't go no more.
on the Swedish S10 uh, pickup truck here in the dry week and sick week. Uh, what else? We were here for dry week, finished second overall, but we had some problem with engines, we couldn't turn it up. Uh, so we have shifted over to the California, to Ace Racing Engines. They rebuilt the engines for us, shipped it back, we got it last Tuesday, like five days ago, we got it, got it back. So we're working the whole week to get it in the car and get the car ready for testing. I we went to Bradenton two days ago, Friday. And we, in the second testing pass, we locked up the rear end. The third member is seized. And we broke the output shaft in the transmission. So yesterday we spent the whole day to rebuild the transmission ourselves. And get a new third member in the car, which we borrowed for this event. My plan is to still run 640 on each track. That's, that's the goal. If I do that, I've done everything. Everything really. went out today my first pass we were like out there as soon as the track opened 9 15 or so and cars shut down again and so um, we hurried and tracked all this wiring down and like looked at logs and took it over to Holly and discussed all this and I actually think we might have found it so there was a loose wire from a relay an MSD solid-state relay that ran to the second injector driver and I think I hope that that's actually what was causing it to shut off
James Schroeder is out of the car and MLK. Put your hands together. Driver is out of the car and MLK. And I'll tell you what, Dave did a heck of a job trying to handle that thing. Yeah, it worked good. Uh, it was a 997 through the 60. It shook a bit uh, after the 60, but it, uh, I didn't pedal it. It settled down. Uh, and actually, you know, I haven't truthfully seen the video, a good video of it. The car, I wasn't driving it. It was, it was, it was on an okay run. It went 422 through the eighth, which is a little bit slow. Uh, and then it, it went hard right. I lifted. Uh, but it was, uh, you know, it just went hard right into the wall. Uh, and then, yeah, it just uh, barrel rolled and uh, came to a stop. The car is in bad shape. Yeah, I'm not so sure we can uh, repair this one. It's pretty disappointing. You know, we were testing. The car had worked better than it ever had and was really uh, in such, you know, it was, it was ready to rock. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long time before I can have a car like that together again. And we are about almost like a couple minutes away here. We start to move some of the track equipment off the top end. So drivers in cars lanes one and two. That we're still chasing this, just trying to figure it out. So we'll see what we can figure out and uh, whether we make another pass here, we'll work on packing up and hitting the road so that we can get down, get over to Bradenton and then try and sort our problem out for tomorrow. So. The first pass, it was on a mission, but but we had to I had to shut it off because I ran out of run out of track. Uh, so we've been working on getting it car straight. This was this is what we we're gonna do last week when we broke the rear end. So we're testing and doing everything now in the competition, which is, isn't ideal. But 
for the past this morning before I shut it off was better than the one I had than what I'm gonna hand in but I'm still happy it's 650 it's not the Ford I wanted but I'll take it Second hit, we shot the tires off the line and I pedal it and it could stay on uh, the down on the track and it could be the 6.59 to 9 I think but it was a really really bad 60 foot due to the shake and uh, the lift but uh, hopefully we can improve on that later on the week we pushed out uh, the seal on the pinion for the members so that was the smoke on the top end so we're fixing that up now and uh, Maybe we do another test hit today, uh, or a test hit, or another full pass. <laughs> see, if, see if we can prove, or we just, uh, if the time runs out, we just go to pack it up and leave the day with the 6.70, so we came in this morning kind of contemplating run a 670 conservative that we know we can run or kind of just swing for it a little bit and run you know fast and uh, i was like well do it so uh, we did it it worked we went fast and uh, now we can relax a little bit today knowing that we can kind of pack up and get on the road and then the, you know the real challenge starts then because obviously the car's been fast before so we knew it was capable of doing that survive the week so uh, I didn't want to try to get after it and have to make more than one pass a day so pretty much printed the exact same ticket we did yesterday uh, with a slower 60 foot but I sped it up out back a little bit so now it's uh, time to put the top down and go for a drive so uh, there's been quite a few delays today just with like oil down and, and breakage and some carnage, sadly. So, um, you know, they're doing their best, but it's a long day. So they're still wrapping up the first uh, first call and we're gonna get back out there as soon as we can and hope for the best.
So just working on transitioning over, get the other street tires on, wheelie bars off, uh, change spark plugs, fuel system over, and uh, which none of that is very complicated or it takes very long. Um, it's mostly packing our trailer that takes the longest because of all the shit that we screwed all over the place. But uh, so we're slowly working like towards to that. And the same point, it's looking like we're going to be in rush hour. So now it's like, once again, we do how quick do we even worry patience. about leaving here today? So we'll see how that goes. But for sure, we just want to get it ready to go. Whether we pull out now or we wait a while to pull out, yet to be decided. So we'll see. the Big Tahoe Marina. This is checkpoint number one. Um, beautiful view. We got this cool lake. There's actually boats coming out of the water from a fishing tournament, so that's cool to see there. Lots of traffic, but there's not a cloud in the sky and it's beautiful weather, so I guess it couldn't be any worse. Right? Better? <laughs> Basically right. connect this one to that one, yeah. that one to that but one. That like no, it's no. the only thing I'm gonna have is ORB. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna have it flared on both ends. We are looking to, so it, this fuel pump is hating life right now. And so I have another, uh, so I have a factory fuel tank under the car with a fuel pump in it. That's probably more like street, you know, robust for street driving. So I'm trying to basically hobble all these together, connect this one to this one, that one to that one. So that way it loops the system and puts it back into the stock tank basically. So that's why I'm trying to look for all my union fittings and we will hobble something together. Ooh, that's a 10 right there. That's exactly what I need. No, this is what I need. <laughs> Go figure. This is what I need.
makes a lot of muscle cars just drivable. This front section will bolt to the transmission. We got three planetary gears, all steel carrier, very high horsepower handling. 456 diff car will be just like it has a 355 diff when it shifts into overdrive. We are in Bradenton Motorsports Park in Bradenton, Florida. Might as well be the, the birthplace of drag racing. I mean, why else go anywhere else? <laughs> here for Sick Week 2023. And uh, yeah, here to enjoy ourselves. Go fast. Love life. Bless America. try to get one and done and actually enjoy some of the Florida scenery. I'm on a, a new current mission. I'm gonna break something every day. Every day, we're gonna break something. So, uh, transmission's broke right now. I broke that yesterday, actually. So we rolled the sprag, and so it doesn't have second gear. So we go right from first gear to third gear. So we did that yesterday, and we just did that today. So I'm trying to line up a, a transmission maybe over at KSR on our way up there. So we're trying to figure something out. Uh, like I said, we're just breaking parts like crazy.
up to like two and a half seconds, pedaled it, but it came up again over the finish line, and then uh, I blow the doors off, so I had to fix something. Yeah. But it was a personal death, so should be glad of that. This time out. And uh, the door, door locks and everything is broken. But, uh, some fiberglass and uh, good wool will <laughs> we'll do it. Mark, we hope to see you back here soon. Cleanest pass because I shut it off early, but it's still a personal best by far. But, um, at the moment, I'm first because Tom Bailey hasn't run yet. We'll never know what happened the rest of the day, so we'll see. But we are ready. We're gonna hit the road in a couple of hours. It's a long drive today.
yesterday and just repeated so obviously couldn't be any more happier than that um, long drive today so we're gonna try to get out there and, and make it up to Georgia than we wanted but it's still a great pass so uh, we're gonna have to work with what we got you know we're, we're several tenths behind now on day two so we're gonna have to run hard the rest of the week. Now once we run out what remains if it is done and empty before our scheduled call time we will make a five minute call for any last taker. We got in about midnight after the second checkpoint so here at the track today we got we got issues but we're not gonna have time to we're not going to have time to change out um, some of our stuff and make the first round. So we're just going to run on one set of injectors. So not sure what it's going to do, but we're going to have to, obviously it's not going to be a super quick pass, but the idea is to try and get a one pass in in this morning session. Because if we go doing the changes we're trying to make, there's no way we're going to pass it in the morning. So we want to try and get a morning pass in. So that's where we're at. And, uh, don't, know, don't know what the carnage is. I don't know anything about anybody else, but we're here. safe pass I mean it, it came up on the two-step fine it bumped in fine but when I let go of the button when I let go of the button the tires didn't turn the engine just free revved up so usually when that happens I think I think about the gear vendor because when I've when I've um, when I broke the input shaft on the gear vendor before like it'll free rev but I can still drive it I just can't drive it under load I mean 
I should have known from experience that it wasn't the gear vendor, but I knew if it wasn't the gear vendor, it was a transmission. And if it was a transmission, I couldn't fix it in 30 minutes, but I could fix a gear vendor. So um, I guess I'm not meant to, not meant to win my own event. So. Smoke. Yep, that's smoke. Okay. What? <laughs> I think I'm gonna bail out on this one. Where y'all? <laughs> it has. We have finally run into uh, parts that I cannot replace or fix. Long days and one little forgetful thing can cost you a run, and as everyone knows here, your cost one run could cost you the whole week. So, um, you know, we just try to make sure that we're 100% prepared before we go on the street and before we go out on the track for safety and reliability. Yesterday was smooth, and that was the longest drive, so I feel like today is, you know, the teeter point. We run good today and get to Gainesville. I feel like, you know, we're on the, the downhill side of it and uh, feel a little more confident going towards the end, but one day at a time. Decided that uh, we're gonna go through a lot of valve springs this week. Here's the uh, Monday Cup and the Tuesday Cup. So uh, I'm still okay, but I've got new springs being shipped to Gainesville. So uh, we're not giving up.
Um, they actually said that you, if people want slicks, they should hurry up and get ready. Really? I'm gonna come in now. Yeah. 11.51 and 1.20 right inside. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, all of you that are here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. trying to fix it to finish instead of finish at the top. You know. So yeah, we'll be back next time. Maybe we'll do six summer with one of the cars. But yeah, right now we gotta take it home and pull it out and see what's up. Running in the display or something. We will see. We can fix it. We have time. And that was uh, a loose connection in transmission. So it sprayed oil inside and smoke and everything. So I just shut it off. You can see, but it was getting it's not good to be in it when that happens. So I just shut it off.
That's what happens when you don't Safety first! done the engine just blew up just blew the engine guys oh no blew it up bad i probably should have lifted some poor decisions were made there but i mean it's like what do you do it was a great run you gotta try and save every run at this type of event and Just after the 3.30, it spat a rod out, and that was pretty much the end of the week for us. No fixing that right now. You know. uh, we got digging around after we got back to the pits, and the oil we changed out this morning was full of bearing material, so I think it probably just chewed up a rod bearing on the way here today. But, you know, pretty grueling drive between Bradenton and uh, you know, Valdosta. So. I think that's what, what, what caused it.
was not. I think uh, one of our push routes came out of the little cup. So, I don't know. We're okay, I guess. We're fine. And then, uh, transmission. Had an issue with transmission. I think we got it fixed, but we'll see. We're just trying to help, cross our fingers and hope that drive doesn't kill us again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the news that we are waiting for, driver is alert. Driver is alert. So put your hands together. Driver is alert and actually asking what he ran. So he's alert and has a sense of humor. <laughs> by saying that my dad is uh, alive and uh, he is out of the hospital and uh, we've actually obviously as you can see behind me we have gotten home and uh, he is home here with us he is still in quite a bit of pain and to just go over uh, you know what happened uh, with his body um, he got a concussion he cracked his L3 vertebrae um, he bruised his hip bone uh, and he broke four ribs and he also bruised a lung and also his eyes were uh, uh, damaged a little bit uh, in the crash um, just from all of the g-forces and that kind of stuff so overall he uh, you know everything that I just mentioned uh, is all stuff that he can recover from so uh, we are very thankful that um, one, he's still with us, and two, uh, you know, he'll make a full recovery. I saw, but I was uh, just dedicated to stick it out because I was trying to just keep my average down low. I know we're leading the class, and I think that Garrett is out now. He heard the engine in his car, so that frees up a little pressure off of us. But um, personally, we came here. We wanted to make a six-second pass every day, and we wanted to keep the average uh, like a 660 or faster. Um, I think right now my average is 6.70. So um, if I can repeat this tomorrow, I believe the track will be similar, so I can take the data from that 70. Uh, I think we can go a 680 there, and then back in Orlando, should be able to click off another 650, and uh, we'll be where we want to be. I know what to expect because when you looked at the track, it's not as good as the tracks before, like yesterday. Braden's so, uh, no one's got down in a good time today, really. Uh, so I'm thrilled with this time. It, it didn't do the 60 like it wanted, and we had some problem with slow boost controller. But we got no new person at best for miles an hour to 18. So happy. <laughs> we're, we're done for today. So we're just gonna head forward to Gainesville. They were walking with the waist gate. Thanks, thanks. 
Yeah, good job, down. man. Nice. I'm like thinking, oh, he's going conservative because he's having troubles today or whatever. And then, conservative. Fuck, no, that wasn't conservative. It is conservative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of giggle when people say drag racing is dying or it's not a real motorsport or whatever. It's the end of the day. These are all guys still trying to get ahead of today for their class. There's a lot of people. We did the big wheelie, power wheelie, and all of a sudden there was a vibration, but I drove through it. Get down to the end, get out, there's transmission fluid leaking. So I thought I might have hurt the transmission doing that with the fluid coming out. Fluid will adjust the fitting that came loose. That's the easy fix. Then we got on the road, vibration's still there. We thought it was a junky road, but it's not. Come find out, Steve Morris told me, look at your U joint, just like what his was. So, we're gonna fix mine and get back on the road. I keep telling Clark if he'll give me a hundred bucks, I'll get us out of the race. We'll just go sit and have beer the rest of the night. So, when Clark does a wheel stand in his Steve Morris powered Camaro, not only does it hammer the floor and destroy the U joint in it, true street cars are 4,500 horsepower. Clark don't take care of nothing. This is why we can't have anything nice in the trailer park, Clark. Everything was just off. Like the, the clutch wasn't acting right. We ended up breaking that axle. That could have been why earlier. And then uh, we also found that the V band on the turbo had broke off the intercooler. And so there was massive boost leak there. Basically, complete over overhaul right now. Trying to get it all back together. We had the trans out. Everything. We're getting back together.
I'll take it, it puts me in a very good position because I have a nice clean pass today Stefan is crashing us to get down the track so I don't think he can take my time today because he has to slow it down just to get down the track because now he has, hasn't got anything and it's weird getting, we were we were already waiting for several hours now but after Stefan's second pass uh, and he didn't get down I think we, we called it now we won't, we won't run again today we're we're happy with the 645 time. Uh, it should have gone a little bit better, but we found what the problem is. So we should have go at 39 or something tomorrow. First pass, hopefully. behind us uh, he's not running anymore today he's gonna kind of stay where he's at in the mid second seven second average uh, so we have a pretty pretty comfortable uh, lead going into Orlando with that run so we're, we're gonna take that we're gonna hit the road and uh, basically maybe run the same run back tomorrow secure the lead and then go faster or go faster straight off the rip we'll, we'll see what the morning looks like parking lot, breaking down double bead locks and loading them up. Came here, we just reset the world record. 771. She was on a run. That was a soft tune-up. We're gonna we're gonna throw the beans at tomorrow.
got one? <laughs> I said I do. I think that was our problem. We thought it was just gasoline and the fuel. But she started it up to go up again and it's got a bad manifold air temperature sensor. So that would totally mess up the tune right there. So she's over at Holly trying to find a new one right now. The only sensor we don't have a spare of. And that's the way it always works. shut off just like it did the other day so I was like what the heck um, changed like instead of running the injector driver wire to a relay because we think it may be hurt we just ran it directly to the battery and thankfully um, it went down the track 696 208 so the fact that it's it's back dooring more so we can just get that 60 a little bit better because it was slow I think we've got a 680 670 car somewhere in here so one more day one more drive Shook the tires right off the line on the first hit. We were almost gone through the 60 foot on the second hit. So we took out some more power and had to see if we can ride through on the third hit. Just go along, getting it to cool down for 15 minutes or something. Try again. Otherwise, we just take out more, more power to until we get there. But it's the wrong move to take out the power as we must go faster than Westberg also. So it's a shit today.
second checkpoint beachfront grill so right on the ocean so this is where we get those good ocean shots uh, for the checkpoint um, but mostly just gotta get everybody in around the parking lot and then back out again so we got 5-0 just watching I don't know there's marks on the road but I think somebody's brakes got locked up so not sure what happened Last checkpoint yeah. of the whole event. Last checkpoint, checkpoint, yes. You're leading the event? I'm leading the event. I don't know miles, it's just one hour to go. <laughs> <laughs> We did uh, four passes. We was uh, expected to go to f three o'clock, but uh, quarter to two o'clock they said uh, they're going to shut down the track at two o'clock. So uh, we did la the last pass of the day, but then they started to uh, run again with other cars. So uh, if we had known that, we had made it the fifth pass. But uh, we did a 6.56 or something on the last pass. I did a 7.50 on the second pass. So, uh, or the last, next last pass. So we're still in the competition, we're still in city number two. But uh, Westberg uh, improved today and um, did a larger gap to us. We know that our friends always tomorrow Freedom and peak performance is what this feller lives for. And it's what I build into every go to town rig that rolls out of my garage. It's that feeling you get when you're behind the wheel, pushing the engine to the limit, and not stopping until the old tires pop. And when the day is done, there's nothing more satisfying than cracking open some cold snacks, kicking off the old earth stompers, and blasting some rock and roll on the old rad yo. So let's rev up our engines and chase our dreams because we're fueled by freedom. So literally we got We only have two-thirds of the cars we started with roughly here today So this is also where their trailers are so therefore you can expect that people are going to make multiple runs today Trying to get that pass they've been hoping for all week because literally they can put it on the trailer when they're done Got the Swedes battling it out for first and second overall Yeah, you never know what's gonna happen like if I'm gonna pull, pull the pass today I'm, I'm, Everything can happen. 
if I get a mechanical fault, you know. But if if it's um, if I don't get a mechanical fault, it's gonna be a 640, first pass, for sure. And then it's sealed up the, the win. But I wanna I wanna do my 630 time. Like that's the goal. If I get a 630, I'm happy. 639, then we celebrate. If he don't, he can go and pack your shit up. I'm gonna do helping. actually the pass so it's went to the center line so I just had to steer it in this hole but it ran what we thought we were gonna run so yep it's good and it's like an easy with the tracks here and stick with like tracks here is like we can do whatever we want it's gonna go down anyway yeah we might run uh, one late in the evening when the sun is down because there's no point in running now when it's so hot we're not gonna improve as much as we want anyway so. We will be shooting for a third time later today. faster but uh, had some transmission issues and it wouldn't shift into second gear so we had to put it in the third gear so just made a safe run and uh, secured the second place now we can go take the car and uh, refresh everything and like go over shocks and tires and rear ends and transmissions and everything it's been shaking a lot this week so a lot of parts are broken Obviously, we had we had a great success, so that makes the week better. But um, we, we planned, we did really good planning. We had the car prepared well. Uh, we were prepared mentally, and uh, the car did great, man. It was uh, one one O-ring uh, leak the first day, and other than that, like we didn't fix or repair anything. Switching the car over to race trim, to street trim. I mean, what more can you ask for? And then you know, be quickest, like. There's not a lot to say to it because it's kind of just all obvious, but uh, it was uh, it was great. Um, I really wish that um, Garrett's car didn't hurt the engine the, the third day because um, I like competition. I don't I don't want anything easy. And not that it was easy to run the runs we did, but if there was someone closer to us, we would have ran again in Georgia. We would have definitely ran a couple more times in Gainesville. But knowing you know uh, we had a pretty decent lead, we just did some some safe runs at a six nine and seven zero and just got on the road just to ensure that we got here today. Uh, try to just play it smart. You know? Today has been 
been one of those days, but yesterday it took three passes and then we got it done, so thankfully we still have time today. Um, went out first pass, broke the gear vendor, came back and fixed it. Second pass, we went back up and it shut off again. How awesome, not. So, we thought we've had this issue fixed the last couple days and it's not been fixed, so we don't really know. I'm actually very confused right now and I don't know what to tell you guys. But we found maybe a loose wire. We've moved some stuff around, switched injector driver boxes, just anything. Um, we're going to go try to make another pass and if it doesn't work, we're going to come fiddle around and hope some magic falls on the car and hope it works. this morning. Uh, that's all that really mattered to me was making it back here on day five. We did fantastic, I think. Uh, one and done every day. We only had one parts failure and we burnt up a spark plug wire. That was it. That was the only thing that, uh, that went bad. So I prepared for disaster. We didn't need anything. So that was good. The car did fantastic every time. We had a great racetrack every day. Um, couldn't ask for a better week. Thrilled. It's been good, yeah, we've been very consistent, 760, 770s, uh, except the first day, just trying to get it figured out and everything, so uh, we're going to let it cool down now, and uh, we're going to go out and turn it up a little bit now and put a little bit more weight to it and make us a little quicker time just for fun. experience is about being as dumb as you can in a car and doing something you should never do in it and then somehow making it work and making it through the week. I came with the goal to do 850 every day. I've had a couple 
rough days, but yesterday fortunately got that 85001. So I'm really happy to do that again at uh, event competition. Uh, really only had one little electrical wire issue that just got hot from being next to exhaust, so I fixed that. So, so far it's been a pretty uneventful, eventful race week. You get a bunch of a bunch of car guys together in literally a camaraderie with everybody and like I mean nobody knows a lot of us know each other but there's a lot of new people that come in and it's cool. So many people came up and said it's my first dragon driving event ever and I feel like family. And like and that's what it's all about. Like sharing, caring, drinking, racing. So it's all a good time. So thanks guys. Give it up for Tall! One more time. Number three.